They've delivered results when it's really counted. Their one concern will be around the attack, but and a, and a massive shuffle in the back line. No changes in the forwards. They're almost 250 caps in that front row. And it's against Jamie George and Dan Cole continue, and they go to battle once again. How good have they been? Mare Tojo, one of the supreme athletes of Rugby World Cup. A work great second to none partners with 23-year-old Holly Chesh, and he's doing pretty well himself. Courtney Laws and Tom Curry have been the perfect foil as Blindside and Fetcher. And Ben Earl at number eight has made the most carries and the most tackles, a real revelation. Alex Mitchell earns his 10th cap at scrum off, this time with captain Owen Farrell. He shifts into 10 from the midfield as part of the big shuffle. Powerhouse Manu Tuilangi moves from 13 to inside centre. And of course, that means Joe Marchant moves from wing to outside. This 10, 12, 13 pivot, certainly stronger defensive structure. Johnny May moves to the right, in comes Elliot Daly, as does Marcus Smith, who in at fullback, maybe just to give them a little more attacking option. There's no doubt for England, their midfield defence is a bit better, but can they be better ball in hand? To win today, they may well need to be. Ball in hand has not been their issue. Ball on the field is, has uh, been pretty consistent. Tevita Ikaneveri comes in at hook and scrums down between the consistent performers, Aroni Maui and Luke Tangi. Albert Turisuru may not be the tallest second row, but he offers strength, power, and real mobility in that second row with Nasila Sila. Akima Tangi Tangi Valu, another change at six. Number seven, Lavani Botti has been just sensational, as has Vilamia Mata at number eight. The awkward and unpredictable, but really effective halfback combination continue. Frank Lamani and Vilamani Botutu are favoured, as are the midfield pairing. The powerful carrying Joshua Tuasovi and the silky running skills of Captain Wasaya Nathalie. Semi run, run, run returns at 11 to inspire the back line. In fact, to inspire this whole team. Another return for Elisa Drosese and Vinaya Habasi moves over to the right wings. Sam Matavezi lost his father in the week. We send our deepest condolences to him and the whole Matavezi family. Wonderful to see him involved today. And for Fiji today, might well be about looking after the ball a little better. They've had lots of it. They'll need more than one of runners to knock over this England team. A clash of styles, a clash of culture. Fiji. In their alternate strip, the black kit, and it's brought down by Vliami Mutter. And they've got advantage as well. Okay. Flat and hard, and tipped up. Avente's not all the way into the tucker. Mitchell giving quick service. They've got it wide really quickly again. As Johnny May goes just a couple of metres away. Mitchell a little dart down the blind side. It closed pretty quickly, the gap. Well read by Lamani. They're going to go to the penalty. Back here. Points of the match go to England and Owen Farrell. Ten minutes gone, three points to nil. England have absorbed some pressure from Fiji. Now get another chance down in Fiji's end and they'll drive on Murrow Atoje. There's Jamie George, hits his mark. He's got it funneled to the back, tucked under the right wing of the hooker. Mitchell wants it. He's not going to get it yet, though. As again, they roll forward, England. Well controlled, now it goes to ground and the ball spills out for Mitchell to come away down the blind side. It's a real mess, they've got advantage again, England. So a free shot here for Tui Lange to the line, Tui Lange rolling over. Money Tui Lange in for England. All over the park and Tui Lange was able to just get in at the corner there, but it's the second or third wall in a row where England have just dominated, made some space. And oh, the late switch, Tui Lange came around. He's strong and powerful, and over he goes. This will be a great view angle. Real twisting effort. A lot of brutal defense coming his way. He's done really well as Manu Tui Lange. It's quick for Tangi, and it's a good carry from the tight head prop. England looking to shoot up on Botitu, somehow okay. slip that ball away. Offside. Playing advantage, they did shoot up too quickly. Lamani to get Fiji on the board. There is the big hook off the post it comes. Almost bounced over, but it's there for England to clear away. But 
Just moments ago, Lamani gets a do-over and swings this one in and over the uprights to get Fiji on the board. Heading out towards his way and creating some space down the right for Johnny May, who's somehow kept it in field two. Still play on here for Sorry. England. OK, advantage. They've got advantage again, England. EG conceding under pressure. And their line is under pressure again, not rolling out of there for sure. Laws. Off the back of the hand, Tuilangi's already got one. Mitchell nice and quick and lively again, short again. Oh. Laws. England ploughing towards the Fiji line. Hanging tough in defence though, space wide. Or back in field, chopping and changing and weaving his way okay, is Joe Marchant. Okay. okay, put it on the screen, please, Ben. Yeah, it's coming on the screen now, Mathieu. It's the 14, right? Yeah, number 14. Okay. Well, it is head to head. And it's a shame we so don't get Mexico at this because it's such a good try we should be okay, talking about. Clear contact to the head, so that made the yellow card threshold. I will give a yellow card to the 14 black and I send it for field review. Yeah, agreed. Okay. So it is going to be a yellow card and it's off to the bunker for review. It's a shame. 14. Marcus Captain. Smith has taken a little bump. Captain. Uh, Bossy is going to spend 10 minutes in the sin bin. Probably quite rightly. I think there'll be mitigation there, though. It's a Captain, stop please. late change. As is Luke Tungy oh, for Fiji. He's upright. OK, clear red contact. So that's a yellow card. And go for a field review. OK. So, to recap, a try to Joe Marchant in England, a yellow card and a bunker review for Hawasi. Marcus Smith coming to the side and Luke Tungy as well. And a got a blood there on Marcus Smith. It'll probably be an HIA and a blood right. repair, you might say. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing down here as well. And uh, you can just see that Lutang is going off and he's going to be replaced by Masaki uh, Dongye. And there's a second row mate, Narsila Silla. England trying to get hands on it, not quite there for them. Flat from a standing start. Fiji in close. They turn to try and put some pressure on and they have shown a little bit of bend in that. England line. Here's the new man, Masaki Donge, on it. Jersey 18. Botsitsu to the line, almost through. The hands are brilliant. Was the ball from Zoe Sorba? Couldn't quite link up with Randradra. But a real crack here for Fort Fiji as they go flying oh, onto the oh, ball. Oh, Five metres oh, short of the England line. They've got advantage too. It's scooped up. Still there for Fiji. They've kept it alive brilliantly. And Butt has thrown it. Worldy of a dummy to score for. Thirty odd meters out from his own line, though. Oh, there's the delightful little offload. Just couldn't link up there too, Sova. Did well to carry. Good clean out. Oh. Kept the momentum going. That is just the most. Okay, thanks. Lamani converts okay. the mutter try. The get closes. Bye. Scrum oh, penalty. Second. Second time. Oh. Strikes this one, slides it inside that right hand, that right, and extends England's advantage once more. Now it's England's turn to pile through, but Lamani just plucked it away in the nick of time. Whose oh, raw sissy oh, hangs oh, on oh, to. Oh, and penalty England. Oh, oh, oh. Owen Farrell's hitting them really nicely this evening. And he extends England's lead as we nudge towards half-time. Fiji will send this away and send us into half-time. What has been an entertaining first half of rugby, but one that England has controlled. And they go to the break with a handy advantage. Second half underway. It's England leading Fiji 21 points to 10. As the ball is brought down by the ever-present Courtney Laws. Lining up again, Genge. Mitchell picking out his runners left and right. Or oh, Smith they came flying at yeah. him, tripped up, but they were offside, Fiji. 
Pilar's offside. Farrell just puts a little bit of daylight between England and Fiji now. Feel that Fiji have to be next to score. Andraja and close. Getting rid of one and then slipping a nice ball for Matavesi. Gets the return ball for Andraja. Then the no-look pass. Wasn't there for Tui Solva, but it was for Nayat Delevu. Did you? And there's going to be a penalty for off the ball. Wow. Against Tui oh, Solva. Stop, 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 stop. And England player went flying. 12, obstruction. That little ball That's over the top. England's captain has been near perfect. And this one just short and just held on to by Nayatha Levu, who now charges downfield. Nayatha Levu starting to become more prominent. Fiji's captain, strong with ball in hand. They line up, tipped on. Or T2. Nongi up the back for Andraja, floats the ball over the top for Magala with his pace, chops back in, steps away from one, can't get away from Smith, good tackle from England's fullback. No, advantage. Got advantage, Fiji. Again, and now once more, Andraja and close for Nye at the level with the big wide ball. Stopped just by Johnny May. Fiji pouring for. Good try, isn't it? A team try. England scored a great team try early on. This is just wonderful stuff. Patience in the way they built up. Skill, strength, good stepping, fast feet. And the timing of the pass here, realising the rush defence on the outside was up. Bit of space on the outside for the captain. Fiji pouring for it. This is just a devastating run. Big, strong, powerful, picking the hole. Over he goes, Revo. Bringing... Weeks it inside. Try is converted. Fiji pulls some points back at 24-17. Looking to be an influence. Holly Lawrence out there in Jersey 23 now for England. Here's Rundraja again. Gets rid of Chesham. Gets rid of Atoje. Care having a chase. Runs over the top of Smith. What a charge from Rundraja. Front football and momentum coming for Fiji. Ripped Vente, away, Laws, no, he's cleared out. Precise with his routine. And it bounces off the post, and it's going to just land for Fiji. Well, T2 to the line, no way through, Curry and Marla. England's defence gets nicely organised again. Curry comes through to disrupt. Again, broken field play. They reset again, losing a bit of ground. And Fiji back to almost where high the kick was taken. Were. They've got another I'm penalty for a high shot. Rundraja with a little okay. star set and a short ball. Nasila Sala puts it on the chest for the Lamoni for T2. The most delicious little offload. Look at this. Oh, how did he slip that? Time off for the kicker. Time off for the kicker. Time off for the kicker. What a run it was too from Nasila Sila. He made his pass perfectly. From 24 points to 10, it's now 24. Care for Atoje. He's got Laws beside him and Earl is there. Care once more out the back. A drop goal attempt from England. It's good. It's calm. It's collected. And Owen Farrell obliges. Real smart play. Not a whole lot on. Mira, mira. Knocked away for Kudavoli. Here come Fiji once more. Magala tries to spin out of a couple of tackles. Good defence from England. Kudavoli, little short ball. It's landed for England and it might create some space straight up the middle. Carving a track, Elliot Daly. Not quite going to all have the pace. Just knocked over. Either it was Ben Earl, excuse me. Oh, and on the ground. Right at the, the middle, and they've got the penalty as well. Care to control it. Oh, 
our feet. And now Fiji will concede that penalty. And on the ground, and then our feet. Taking all his time, Owen Farrell, to put England out by six points. England's tacklers have to release, and still we go on, Matavesi. Dere Langi Laws looking, is he allowed to have a go, Courtney Laws? He's wrestling it there and he's won it! He's won the turnover! 18 off feet and then holding on. They've once again found a way. 50 days ago, England were beaten by Fiji and their World Cup hopes were written off. And today they've turned the tables to earn a place in the semi-finals.